Hi, it's Mr. C from Divi Den. This is the video for the Blurbs Divi Layout Kit, how to install it. Uh, first, we're going to look at which files come in the folder. Then we're going to import some of those files onto a dummy site. We're going to install them. Then we're going to have a look around and see how to change the colors. We're going to add some CSS styles and we're also going to install some code into the functions.php if uh, that's something that you want to use. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we want to go to our demo site and we're just going to go to the dashboard uh, Divi and then Divi library. Now we want to import the JSON file. Click on import again here and then let's go and find that file. Uh, what we've done is uh, each of these modules, one to eight, come independently if you just want to import one of them and then install the CSS file. We've also done all of them in one go. It depends, you might want to import them and then re-export them once you've changed the colors or anything like that. So um, just to make it easier for you, we've done all of them in one go. So let's click on that file. This is the master blurbs that we lay out kit json file so let's import that guy wait for it to import and reload there we go and it's reloaded and all imported so the next thing we want to do is go to a page let's just create a dummy page so there we go So this is the master Divi blurb sample. Let's click on use the Divi builder. I'm going to choose a blank page template because it's got no header and footer. That will make it easier for us to add, uh, to display it for you nicely. Uh, then we want to go to add from library because we've just added it from there. And then we're going to add all of these guys. So let's start with one. Uh, I'm just going to pause the video and import all of them so you don't have to watch that. Right, so I've imported all of them the same as you would. And then we just want to go and update the page, publish in this case. So we can go and take a look. Uh, so let's open that in a new page, open in a new tab, and then we can have a look. So here are all our modules, but as you can see, there's no animations yet or any of the styles. So, and you can also see here is an email uh, short code, uh, and that will be what we're going to add to the functions.php file. This is a safety feature which is built into WordPress by, by default. Well, not by default, you can add it, um, and that's a script, uh, some line of code that you add to your functions.php file, which then protects your email addresses from being grabbed by spam bots. If you wrap it into this little uh, short code, email and then close it with a closing uh, slash and email, any email address that is wrapped in it will be obfuscated from being grabbed by a mailbot. So we'll add that later too. In this case, the next thing we wanna do is we want to go and add the styles. So let's go and do that. To add the styles, we just want to go to the dashboard again. We want to go to Divi theme options and there right at the bottom of the first page is the custom CSS. Then we want to navigate to the CSS file, which will be the master CSS file in this case. There it is. So let's click on that guy. Let's open it in our favorite text editor. And then what we want to do is just grab all of this code. So that will be uh, control A, control C, my shortcut keys. And then let's go back and control V, paste that in, click save changes. And now if we go back to the sample page, we can reload control shift R and all our animations will be there. Let's have a quick look. Yes, that looks good. So now if, if you're doing this for a client or for your own website, 
you'd probably want to go in and change these colors. We've, we've made it easy for you. Uh, in the CSS, there's a single red color which is used through uh, the entire bunch of them. So you only have to go and look for one color. There's styles for full screen, there's styles for tablets, for desktop, etc. So it's important that you go and search and find and replace inside your CSS files for any one of the modules that you install. Make sure that you replace that color with the preferred color that you want. What we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to choose this Divi purple and we're going to change it to that color. But before we do that, let me just touch on these little images, icons that you have here. Um, these colors, these are PNGs, and those colors come inside of that PNG. So by changing the color in the CSS, you won't be able to change this color. But that's the reason why we added the PSD for you. So you can open the PSD, change the color there, Alternatively, it's all set up and ready to go. You can just upload your own individual icons, which I believe will be different for most of your clients. I doubt um, everyone's going to have a rocket ship or a microscope, whatever it might be. So you'd probably want to have that flexibility. And in that case, you're just going to go to the module and upload a new image with the right color for you okay so let's let's go and do the next step let's change the colors for that we can just go to the css file that we were in originally and uh, i'm just going to open that over here you'll notice that inside the commented text we've added the color which is um, hash cc0033 I've also previously grabbed the Divi purple, which is over here. So I'm just going to copy that. Now we just want to search and replace this CSS file for that color. So let's go um, find, which is that color there. We want to replace it with this Divi purple. Uh, and then because we know it's all the same, we can just hit replace all and that should have replaced all the colors so let's just click find next no there's nothing so we've replaced all of them in this case then we can go control a we just copy this information again then we want to go back to the Divi library uh, sorry not the library to the theme options and then uh, scroll to the bottom custom css uh, replace all of that and click save changes now we can go back to the master page control shift r let's reload and go back to the top now if we go through this you'll notice that only some of them have changed and that's okay the rest we need to do inside of the module sometimes this is the only way that it can be done or the most practical way to do it we've kept it uh, the adjustments inside of each module which makes it easier for for most people to do it so that's why it's done this way so this is the first step is to uh, update the css with the new color that you want and then we need to go into the individual modules to change to the correct color that we want so let's do that now to do that we're just going to hit edit page and then we can go to an individual item to go and update it there so i'm just going to do one or two as a sample uh, which will give you an idea of how to do it then so let's click on this blurb let's scroll you can just have a look and see if you can find that color if you don't see it straight off then you can go to the next one and uh, there you go yeah you can see that's the red color that we've got there uh, so we can just click that open and then let's grab that Divi purple we had previously that's over here made a note of it and then you just want to add it in there paste okay custom CSS let's have a look there order no and there you can see we've got another color there of the blurb image so let's just paste that one and then you just want to look through all of these settings to make sure that you've caught all that color 
so that's save so that's a single blurb that we've updated now you can save this as a new global um, and then replace the other ones if that's what you want to do uh, so I'm just going to update quickly let's have a quick look and see what it looks like so let's wait for that to reload open in a new tab and there you go so you can see the colors different in this instance now uh, let's just go back here if you wanted to save this uh, then what you can do is instead of having to change all of these individual modules one by one you can just right click on this one oops click that open and then you go uh, save and add to library so save and add to library uh, this will be blurb module i'm just going to call it blurb sample and then what we want to do is <clears throat> you want to exclude include general settings because that makes uh, that copies all the other informational items inside of it don't include general settings and then make this a global item and then you can go save and add to library wait for that to load now this one's gone green so we can just click these other two other three away and then you can just clone this item uh, a couple more times there we go and then just drag it in here just like that now if we update the page they should all be purple and you can go in and change those icons if you want or do whatever you need to but that makes it a lot easier for you so that's how that color gets changed now uh, we also want to go and look at that email code which you've seen here in order to make that show up correctly without this code and actually show an anchor link that's safe from being spammed by robots we want to go to the functions.php file for that we want to go to theme options first onto the dashboard uh, and then actually there's there's different ways of doing this it, it depends on your hosting company you may be able to go to appearance and then click on editor if you don't have this editor option it means that you either have installed the plugin that prevents that from happening normally it's a security plugin like um, a secure wp or better security or something normally they don't make that available that's the one thing or you or your hosting company is a managed hosting company like um, wp engine or something they normally prevent those from happening now if that's the case you have to do this by ftp in our instance i'm just going to click on the editor uh, and then you want to go to your child theme file you don't want to update it in your divi you might not know this already uh, you run the risk of it getting overwritten so better to use a child theme and then you want to go to theme functions click on that and then we're going to scroll right to the bottom this is where we want to add our code but so let's go and find that code so we're going to the downloaded folder here you can see we've got a code for functions.php we're just going to open that in our favorite editor then we're just going to grab this short code over here copy all of it and then we go back to the theme functions file we are going to add it just before the closing question mark over there we've got to make sure there's no spaces critical that you never have any spaces after the question mark and the closing tag otherwise your site will not work now it's possible that you may already have this anti-spam email shortcode in your functions.php file if you have done it and we click update in this instance the site will appear broken it, it won't load because it's got a duplicate of that code in that instance just log in via 